Please subscribe to this channel and we'll keep the comedy clips flowing. And now... So uh, it's ever so exciting. The World Cup's about to begin, and uh, you know anyone can win—not anyone, but, but um, some of the teams that are in it. Who could win it? Who could win it? Who do you think could win it? Is England a team? Is England a team? <laughs> you are a bell end. Red card. <laughs> um, so seriously, who could win it? Who do you think could win it? You think Brazil could win? Easy, easy answer. Very pedestrian, not very interesting. You're probably right, they will win. It's a good, sensible answer. Um, have you been studying them recently, or are you just saying that because that's the only team you've heard of? <laughs> you like yellow. You like yellow? <laughs> Brilliant! Um, and for those, for those of you listening to this, uh, it was a woman that said that she supports Brazil because she likes yellow. <laughs> And uh, you've just um, completely uh, lived up to all sorts of 1970s stereotypes. <laughs> um, so, so you like, you like, uh, but it is a nice yellow. But it is, I like. That's the only reason I like uh, Brazil because of the yellow. So, <laughs> nice and what? Bright. Nice. It's a bright yellow, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I hate those dirty brown yellows. Oh. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> hey. Hey. <laughs> what? You've got, you, what, what, you, have you got a dirty brown yellow on you? I'm making a joke. It's an oxymoron. You can't have a colour that is brown yellow. <laughs> yes. Yes, you can, or yes, you agree with me? I'm agreeing with you. You are the arsehole that asked if England were a team. <laughs> <laughs> Any kind of response from you is automatically uh, invalid. <laughs> So what's going on? You've got dandruff in your eyebrow. <laughs> Which team do you support? Apparently Argentina. Apparently Argentina. <laughs> because of the dandruff. Yeah. Now it's well known that a lot of the Argentinian players have a lot of dandruff. And uh, some people say that gives them an unfair advantage in the penalty area. Because um, uh, when they go up to head a ball, a lot of the dandruff uh, flies out of their hair and uh, blinds the defenders. Um, and uh, you know, gets in the goalkeeper's way. It's like a snowstorm. And uh, yeah, that's why you've got the dandruff in your hair. Yeah, who do you think is going to win the World Cup? Um, um is not a team <laughs> that's qualified this year. Japan? Japan! <laughs> that is the wrong way to pronounce it. But um, <laughs> from now on, I am going to pronounce that country Japan! <laughs> that, is the, that is the best way! <laughs> Brilliant! Japan! <laughs> To Japan. <laughs> of course you haven't, because they wouldn't let you on the aeroplane. <laughs> Where are you going? I'm going to Japan. <laughs> I'm afraid this, this plane's going to Tokyo in Japan. <laughs> um, no, seriously, can you be serious for one moment? Uh, and uh, if, if Japan um, don't get out of their group, and uh, if you pronounce it like that, I don't think they will do. Um, uh, who else might win? <laughs> You require <laughs> Italy. Italy might win. Why? Why? Why might they win? <laughs> if you're going to come to a World Cup podcast and douse self-raising flour over your eyebrows, <laughs> reinvent the pronunciation of a great nation. <laughs> you a simple question that takes far too fucking long to answer. You're going to go over with him. Right. Now, my favourite World Cup um, was uh, probably uh, 1982, uh, uh, probably, because uh, um, I was a little boy then and I uh, couldn't watch all the matches because uh, my mum wouldn't let me, it was too violent. Um, I, uh, I was too violent. The, the football wasn't too violent. Um, I, I was. I, I, I snuck in and I saw the the final. And uh, do you remember Marco Tardelli who scored? Yeah. Yeah. What do you remember about that? The celebration. The celebration, exactly, and that's the key thing. Because one of the things, when, when I watch football, the most important thing really is imitating what the footballers do. That's the most important thing about it. I've learned lots of my body language has come from watching football on television. Now, imagine me when I'm eight years old and I'm watching the football and this man scores this goal. And this is the celebration he did. He ran out and he had... 
Hold, can you just hold my microphone? <laughs> Stand up. <laughs> and this is what he does. He holds his arms out. He holds his arms out like he's, like he's Jesus being crucified on the cross. But miraculously, he hasn't been waiting. He hasn't even waited to be buried before he's risen. He's got off that cross and he's running, running around the pitch. And he's just doing that with his arms. He's doing reverse wing flap. <laughs> A reverse wing flap around that stadium in Madrid. And me, I'm only eight years old. I don't understand what I'm watching. But this thing and the electric atmosphere in my living room, my mum and dad watching the World Cup final and Marco Tardelli, he's crying, he's shaking his head. It's as if he's saying, I don't know what I've done. But it's brilliant. <laughs> now, thank you, sit down. Um, <laughs> Now that image, it's just like a little duckling that has lost its mummy and finds a sheepdog and follows the sheepdog round all day because it thinks it's his mummy. That's what I did with that image. It imprinted on me. And for the rest of my life, even to this day, when I sit down on a really cold toilet seat, I do that. <laughs> And, uh, or, or sometimes, sometimes I go into a supermarket that's open for 24 hours because it's fun to do shopping at 2 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that's got your attention, hasn't it? It is, isn't it? And sometimes when I find a particular item that I've been looking forward to, have forgotten that I really like, and I'll find it and I'll put it in my little basket, I go. <laughs> Marco Tardelli, 1982. Uh, the other, that's it, that's some time's up. So, um, the other memory was about uh, Italian 90, where uh, I went to Italy, and um, it's frightening when you go to another country, everything's, uh, you know, scary and different, and um, we were watching a match, and I needed to do a poo. And, uh, and I was told, you can't do a poo, it was in my friend's granddad's apartment block, um, in, uh, in Legnano, just north of Milan, and uh, I can't remember the match, uh, but at half time I had to go to the toilet and he's told me, don't go, to the you can't do a poo in Grandad's loo. And not because it rhymes, um, because the poo that you can't, it doesn't flush. And uh, now I don't know what his granddad did, um, but what I did, I did a poo and I had to, um, I had to swathe it in, I had to sort of, Get lots of toilet paper and swaddle it like a baby Jesus. <laughs> and uh, put it in my pocket. I had to do that. I had to do that. And I had to watch the whole of the second half. With my baby Jesus poo. In my pocket and then of course they won and we had to go out celebrating. How'd you get rid? Oh, you know, and after a couple of hours I've become attached to it, you know. I couldn't give it up, could I? So, I had to take it home, took it all the way home to England, and that who grew up to be Rain, Wayne Rooney. Uh, he did, he did I buried it in the garden, it's now a fruit tree. So, uh, thanks very much, mate. I hope you enjoyed that video. There are loads more across the channel and the plan is to add three new clips every week. Please subscribe, hit the notifications bell, like, comment and share to help us keep the good stuff rolling out for your delight and entertainment. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.